Ladies and gentlemen. Hello everyone and welcome to another Doom Charts Mystery Pick 3 where we take a deep dive into the most recent Doom Charts list. What are the Doom Charts you might ask? It is a worldwide group of music fans, bloggers, journalists, DJs, podcasters, and album reviewers from around the globe who get together each month to discuss their most recent finds in the heavy music community. Of those discoveries, a top 40 is put together and that becomes the Doom Charts. Of that top 40, 25 are given an album blurb and that's what we're digging into here in a mystery style. I've got the numbers in, we're pulling them at random. Random, we are going to find out what is in this newest Doom Charts list. This is a great way to discover new music because I can't possibly hear all of the great stuff that's coming out every single month. And this helps me find as much as it does you. Let's discover together what is coming out first in this mystery pick three. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what's coming out first. It's going to be the first number that's going to be 22. <laughs> Coming in at number 22, Dune Rider, Long Trip, Stoner, Sludge, Doom, Sock, Paris, France, self-released. Tune down and drop out with the latest effort from French one-man band Dune Rider. This is quite the head trip as each of the seven songs seems to get lower and lower as the impossibly fuzzy and sludgy Sock Doom takes you to all of the parts of the lower end. Filthy fuzz and clean vocals forming some kind of heavy psych doom monster that comes at you through the underneath and drags you back down into its subterranean desert lair. Rich Piva, Musipedia of Metal, Fuzz Doom Rip. That's right, people. Take that Doom Rider and take it to number 22, the official Acacia Avenue spot. If you haven't heard, people, if you haven't heard, you better know by now. That's right, people. We're getting into it. Congratulations to Doom Rider getting that one. Let's find out what else is coming up next. It's probably a one-person band also. It's got to be a one-person band. Number four. Number four, Horse Burner, Voice of Storms, Stoner Sludge, Progressive Metal, Parkersburg, West Virginia, Blues Funeral Recordings. All paths in the many roads traveled have led Horse Burner to this point as they continue to cultivate and expand their craft, bringing their brand of progressive sludge stoner metal to the masses. I swear the riff on Heaven's Eye with that little stutter and guitar harmony sounds like it could seriously be on either of the classic Baroness albums, Red or Blue, while the seven plus minute assault of Hidden Bridge contains everything that Horse Burner is within one track. Excellent vocal hooks, melody, and chorus make for an extraordinary tune. The dynamic bass runs and hard hitting drum flourishes are the backbone while the twin guitars attack from the front. Harmonic leads, but also a focus on the riff, and if you're a fan of solos, there are three. Voice of Storms is a reflection of Horse Burner's maturity and musicianship along with the songwriting, and I feel it's their most accomplished album to date, so do yourself a favor and check it out. John McGough, there you go, people. John is on it with Horse Burner, which might I add, Horse Burner for some reason seems to be something hard for me to say, so I'm gonna say Horse Burner, Horse Burner, Horse Burner. Maybe if I say it three times in a row, Horse Burner, Horse Burner, I can't even do it, I can't do it fast, but maybe you can, try it, try it with me. One, two, three, four, Horse Burner, Horse Burner. I can't even say it once, but that's okay, because they come out second and that's all we needed it's probably not a solo act so let's find out what the third of the mystery picks is gonna be let's see if it's another tongue twister number 13 
Coming in at number 13, Weed Evil, Profane Smoke Ritual, Doom Heavy Metal, Stoner Rock, San Paulo, Brazil, DHU Records. Brazil's Weed Evil cite their influence as Sabbath, Wind Hand, Acid King, and Lucifer, and those influences are evident in their music, yet they are not mere imitators. While Weed Evil's sound is a composite of its influences, it is a sound not defined by those influences. Frazier Jones of the Desert Cyclist, and you know you can trust him, and Weed Evil is so easy to say, I don't need that right now. Weed Evil is one of the easiest things in the world that I could have said in this particular episode, so that's it. Don't forget to go over to thedoomcharts.com, check out everything that's going on over there. Don't forget to read the remainder of the blurbs, check out all of the links to Bandcamp and such, dig into those, and don't forget to reach out to the bands and the labels and the PR and let them know that you heard about them here on the Doom Charts. But don't forget, we've got an honorary mention, the 26 through 40. This is the Doom Charts Deep Cuts. That's right, people. The Cardinal Box is back, and it's the Cardinal Rule that we want to support as many people as we possibly can, so we put together the Doom Charts Deep Cuts to give a closing statement to this particular episode and every episode hereafter until I decide not to do it anymore. This is between 26 through 40. Let's find out who is going to roll the credits with an honorary mention. It is going to be number 38. Coming in at number 38, Young Acid, Murder at Maple Mountain. This is a fantastic way to close out the credits and another one that we love here at the Doom Charts. Don't forget, reach out and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up. It'll help us get along the way somewhere. I don't know where we're going, but we'll talk to you next time. Roll those credits!